Jeremiah, good morning. Um, one of the uh, members of the team here at Ohio State. And uh, next little bit we're going to be talking with here is just uh, kind of um, working with you on uh, curriculum development and kind of tying that into the um, uh, technology stuff that we have this morning. My part here hopefully will be a um, sort of a uh, reminder, a brief refresher. Hopefully most people have heard of the smart uh, um, mnemonic for developing objectives. But if not, this will be uh, hopefully a quick uh, lesson for you. So. Um, I don't really like objective slides, but I think it would be silly to do a lecture on objectives without having an objective slide. So we have an objective slide here. Um, and really the most important one is by, that by the end of this session, you'll be able to identify the five elements of uh, the SMART mnemonic for developing successful learning objectives. Um, this was part of a larger lecture that has been condensed based on time. So I apologize. These last two lectures, our last two objectives aren't really relevant. And so our objective as a group here today will be to, object, to develop uh, objectives that are actually um, uh, relevant to the lecture we're giving. So sorry about that. But <laughs> um, so the SMART mnemonic, um, uh, this is a mnemonic to help you develop uh, objectives for your curriculum. And it stands for th um, um, objectives that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. And we'll kind of go through those on an individual basis. Um, but I think overarchingly, um, something to think about as we're talking about this briefly is the difference between goals and objectives. Um, because I think it's really important to think about when we're, when we're talking about these things. So a goal is an overarching sort of um, ideal that you're trying to achieve. So the goal for this you know, um, uh, conference this morning is learning to develop um, techniques and tools to uh, uh, bring technology into your learning environment. But this lecture here, the objective is to kind of learn about setting um, objectives uh, um, for that. And so um, we're using objectives to build towards a goal, if that makes sense. So a lot of times we think goals and objectives are the same thing, but this is a little bit different. So uh, a specific objective uses specific uh, um, um, action verbs based on, usually on Bloom's taxonomy, to sort of identify finite targets um, of what you want to um, accomplish here. And the idea is that the greater specificity that you use, the easier it is to measure. So obviously, a measurable goal, you want to have some sort of ta uh, tactile, finite ways of bringing that together. And that's the difference between an objective, sorry, object, uh, the objective and a goal. A goal is harder to measure, sort of an overarching concept of what you want to get done, versus some, uh, an objective is very measurable, tactile, finite. Um, seems sort of obvious, but if you're setting an objective for yourself, it should be achievable. Um, you know, I'm never going to climb Mount Everest or even do a marathon or anything like that. So my setting an objective for that for myself is a bad idea. Um, but setting an objective and making sure that you're keeping a, an idea or in mind on something that is actually tangible um, is really important when you're setting goals for you, or excuse me, objectives for yourself. Um, relevant seems obvious as well, um, but sometimes we can get lost in the weeds and get really sort of specific into uh, various different things that we're trying to treat, uh, teach or treat, and we are losing the overall ideal are losing that goal. So making sure your objectives are, are set and relevant towards the goal that you're trying to teach or achieve is really important. And then finally, time bound, um, which I think is sometimes the one that's most difficult. Um, from a lecture standpoint, it can be really easy by the end of this lecture. Um, but if you're setting personal objectives or goals for um, yourself or for um, your curriculum at large, it can sometimes be easy to kind of leave these things more ambiguous. It's really important when you're setting objectives to make sure that you set a specific time frame. So for this little brief talkette that we gave here by the end of the talk, right? So that's really important that you're setting sort of finite time frames for you to uh, accomplish those objectives. And again, really brief. Hopefully that was a, a uh, um, uh, refresher for most of y'all. And if there's no questions, I think we'll move on to the uh, curriculum development station.